What's up everybody? So today in this video, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to limit the number of your form responses using a simple trick in Airtable, just in the simple Airtable forms. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help business owners probably just like you help you optimize your information system. So that's in stuff like Airtable, Asana, Slack, Airtable for maybe asset management, a CRM, or just generally data collection and data organization with a relational database and the others for stuff like uh, project management or communication. So if you're interested in any services, you can check out the link down in the description, request a consultation from me or someone on my team, but without further ado, we'll get right in the video now. So to do this, it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. So what I've done so far is I created a form. So I haven't actually created the form yet, but I created where the form will be inputting the information. And I also created the way that I'm going to be limiting the form. So quickly to create the form, you probably already have your form in here, but this is just a simple form. And there's, it requests the name, it requests the survey code, and then whatever questions you want. So question one, question two. And so basically what would happen in here is they'll fill out their name, then they'll pick like which survey ID they were given or just any survey response that they can have. And then they'll fill out your questions as well. So to limit this, what you'll need to do is you'll need to have this linked record right here. And this linked record question will be pulling from this table over here or just another table. And so here I've limited it to four responses. And the way that you do that is you just create your table and then you create a view, a specific view that you'll probably want to end up locking this view where you add the filter where the form submission is empty. So where there's no linked records to that yet. So we'll, we'll, I'll show you what this will look like as we go through this. So you're also, also gonna wanna make this required. So now if I come in here and open the form, it'll pull up this really simple form here. I'll pick the survey code. So this one, the survey code is 1001. And now we'll click submit. So you can also fill out this. So like this is Ben, this is one, this is two. So just so we have some more data in there so you can see that. Now if we come to the grid view, we can see there's one submission in here. And in this form limiter view, you can see there's only three in here now. So now if we go back to the form, we maybe can reload this and we can come in here and say, this one is Anne, my girlfriend's name. And then for the survey code now, you might still see there's four in here. So this is the most important part right here. You might've created that view. You might've set up your form 99% uh, correctly. But what you need to do is you need to go back to your form, to the form, form submissions table, to the form view, and go to this linked record right here, and then limit the record selection to that view. So the view you're gonna pick is the form limiter view. And now once you do that, you'll see it be limited to those, the record selection from that view. And now if we come back here and reload this, we can just quickly write and back in here. And then we can see now there'll only be three possible possible submissions. So we'll pick that one and now we'll click submit here and then we'll reload it again. So now before we do keep going through, you can see now there's two in here and there's only two submissions left in this table. So now we can say uh, this one is Ben again. And then just for simplicity's sake to show you what happens once you do all of these, uh, I'm gonna just submit it like that. So now there's, if we go back to this survey codes table in the form limiter view, there's none in here. And the way this is going to work is once all of your submissions are used up, then this is a required field. But when they come in here to add something, there's no records that they can choose from. So if I don't, can't choose anything, then I can't fill this out. So if I try to click submit, then like I just can't fill out this form anymore because there's, there's nothing to choose from and this is required. So this is how you limit that record selection uh, just from a view. So I hope this was helpful. If you're curious on getting started with Airtable Fund, maybe you've never used any of this before, you can check out this video right here in the end screen. And I, it'll give you the introduction to all the basics of using Airtable Forms. If you're interested in your services, you can check out the link in the description and we can help you set up Airtable in your business and optimize your information systems. But without further ado, I hope you have a great day. 
and I'll see you in the next one.